Marketing fundamentals number two, crafting the message. As a business owner, you'll already have a pretty good idea of how to pitch your products. After all, you're the one that built those products, so that naturally makes you better at crafting a message that will entice your customers to buy, right? Wrong. Sorry to disappoint you here, but quite often the person behind the product is often not the person best placed to write all the marketing collateral that accompanies it. But all is not lost. You just need to have the ability to step outside your business and walk a day in the life of your customers. Once you remove yourself from your business bubble, you'll see your product and business in a different light. It's this little trick that can make or break a business and it can help you scale massively if you do it right. The best way of seeing your business from a customer's perspective is to either A, be your own customer and follow that journey, or B, get feedback from others who are your ideal customer. Let me reiterate this. It's incredibly important to see your business and products from your customer's eyes. Only then will you really know how to craft a message that your future customers will buy into. Now, when it comes to creating your message, this can be a website copy or adverts or blog posts or even product descriptions, a good marketer will have the skills required to turn bland into solid gold. It's the marketer's job to craft that message in such a way that it gets attention. And once we've got their attention, we create a lot of desire. We do this by using words and phrases that we know are going to connect with the pain points and the motivations of the market. And finally, but some would say most importantly, we've got to get them to act. This process is used extensively throughout the marketing and we call it the ADA principle. And that stands for attention, interest, desire and action. In a nutshell, when you apply the ADA principle to any marketing activity, it works like this. First up, use emotive language that resonates with their reader to get their attention stir an emotion. And then on to number two, make it personal to them using the word you to build interest, remembering to keep it simple to understand. Number three, create desire by building trust and selling the benefits. And number four, encourage action by telling people what they need to do next. And Eureka, I guarantee that you'll sell more and capture more leads and inquiries by following this simple principle. Personally, I tend to go slightly further with the ADA principle and put a, an S on the end so that it becomes ADAS. Attention, interest, desire, action, and then satisfaction. The S as I said, stands for satisfaction. After encouraging your audience to take action, you need to ensure that the consumer is then satisfied. Usually, I'll do this by managing their, their expectations, by telling them what to expect after they've taken the action I want them to take. This can be either woven into the advert or a landing page, or, or even after the checkout process. And it's all really about understanding how your future customers see and respond to your marketing messages and using psychology to reinforce why your products are better than others that are vying for attention. You'll find that most marketers do have a, uh, an interest in psychology 
as it really helps to understand how people's minds work. Look out for my tutorials on consumer psychology here on The Rainmakers. It is an incredibly fascinating topic. So that's marketing fundamentals number two sorted. Look out for the next tutorial on The Rainmakers below, positioning the marketing bread and butter.